fabulous job with your first speech. I'm going to talk about, first of all, your speech goals. I'm going to talk about what you did really well with your speech. I'll give you a tip or two, and then I'll summarize. First of all, your speech goal was to do your icebreaker and let us get to know you a little bit. You slam dunked that one. We know a lot about you and we know about what drove your personality, what drove your life. And I'll get into that in just a minute. What you did really well, you had a really nice introduction that Tom read this morning. You talked, he described why you're in Toastmasters and the place for you to grow and learn. The organization of your speech was done very well. You took us through where you were born and then you introduced us to the idea of, of your aunt and your mom and the idea of you being very much of an extrovert, you're dancing, and then you learned from your aunt that that was all wrong, which basically drove your future path in life. It was a great organization for your speech. Your lighting was good. Your face is very pleasant to look at. Your demeanor is very easy to listen to. You had the right volume for your voice. Very good. Your closing as part of your organization was very well too. You, you came back around and told us that you had the courage and commitment to find your voice and invited us to walk with you. You also gave us a call to action for each of us to look at our childhood and see if there was something that drove us on our path in life. Very powerful message, something I'm gonna probably think about. I'm sure it's there. Your word choices were very good. You had, you had a great story that really led your your speech talking about your aunt and your mom and the idea that you've been wrong. Very powerful story. It's something that will allow us to remember what you were talking about. You had a nice background. I don't remember exactly what you used to have in the past. Maybe it was kitchen table or, or a, a bookshelf, but you looks like you had a white sheet back there. The one thing I might suggest is that next time you position your, your camera so that you're able to stand up. One thing I noticed that when you're, when you're sitting in your chair, you were rocking back and forth a little bit. Something I do when I'm a little bit nervous is I, I tend to rock back and forth when I'm standing. But anyway, you can stand up. And then you allows us to use your, see your hand gestures. You can use some hand gestures when you just des describe some of your things that you're talking about. Very well done. Thank you very much for that first speech, Fabiola. Thank you.